Hi, I hope you're doing really well. Today I'm going to show you how I do my winged eyeliner but like a beginner's version um, because I feel like I've done my eyeliner so much that I've kind of like grown used to doing it exactly the same way if that makes sense but I know that like that may not be easily achievable by everyone so I thought I'll show you like an easier way to practice winged eyeliner. Um, so we're gonna get started with an eyeshadow um, that is dark. So I'm using this Shiseido's like brand. It's from Shiseido. I got it when I was in Japan. I'm gonna use this um, brush from Cryolin. Um, I think the number is 3701 but it's like fully faded away. I don't know. It looks like this. And I, as you can see, I've only taken the color on like one half of the brush and that too like only on this edge so that I have control. Um, so I'm just going to get started by um, applying the eyeshadow in the center of the lid. Um, we're taking a little bit more. It gives you a lot of control, this method. Um, and like teaches you exactly what shape of eyeliner will look good on you if that makes sense. Um, and then you're just slowly just gonna start to bring it out like that um, you can use a finer tip brush if you like I just find that this is the fastest way I can do this um, I'll obviously go and clean it but yeah you just repeat this step until you're happy with like the overall shape um, and then you repeat the same thing on the other eye You see what I mean? It's like so easy. In like a minute, I was able to get that overall shape. Um, don't worry though, we are going to add a lot of definition back into the eyeliner. For now, you just want the overall shape. Which is the part that a lot of people struggle with when they're beginning. And now that you have this kind of shape, what you're going to do is clean it up. For which you can use earbuds and micellar water or a wet wipe. Um anything you know i'm gonna use a wet wipe i'm i'm gonna wrap it around my finger like this around my nail basically and uh, we're just gonna shape it like that you see it's so easy this is what i mean it's like one of the easiest ways to learn how to get your eyeliner in the right shape and then obviously you can go in and just make sure these two are equal and to do that look straight into the mirror and then like cut it accordingly we're getting there we're getting there okay so now that you have this um cleaned up shape what you're gonna do is go back into the same eyeshadow and just equalize it um and honestly don't worry about it getting here it usually won't because that area is wet the eyeshadow doesn't stick to that area like from my experience that's what i feel I don't like felt tip liners. Honestly, I feel like they don't apply smoothly for me. I much prefer bristle tip eyeliners, but if you're a beginner, I have heard that felt tip eyeliners are easier to work with. So I'm gonna show you what I would do if I was using a felt tip liner. So this is the super liner from L'Oreal. It has two things, like one is silver, which is a kajal, and one is the liner. So I'm just gonna take the liner a bit. I'm really scared, I don't like doing felt tip liners, but it is what it is. So um, what I'm gonna do is literally just draw one line like that. I hate felt liners, but you see what I mean? It's adding that sharpness that we want. Um, So basically you have it. I mean, it's mostly done. Um, also, I'm seeing that this eye has a, has a under eye shadow type of situation. So I'm just gonna do it on this eye. So, and uh, just balance it. And now if you feel like you want a little bit of depth here, you can just um, connect your eyeliner here like that to the base um, or use like a black kajal and just smudge it out. 
which actually I think would be easier for a beginner. So the kajal I recommend is a Chamber Geneva kajal. I would literally just dot like a couple of dots here towards the edge just to darken it as in darken the shadow at the base and then just use the same brush to smudge it a little bit. Just do it in like a controlled way. Don't go like all over, just stay in the same place and just spread it out. And you can see how uh, much of a difference that made. Now, let me move the light for you to get like, see? It's looking more equal now. But yeah, this is um, how I would do my winged eyeliner. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and come back. Okay, so um, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Um, I will see you next week with another video. I forgot to say, um, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, leave a comment. Um, and if you want more content from me during the week, uh, then follow me on Instagram, which is at yourshaynas. And I will see you. Bye.